Okay, this tutorial is still working in the function composition and operations part of chapter 3, that's section 3, 1 and 3, 2. And I'm going to specifically be looking at uh, graphical applications. Sometimes, as you see here, I've drawn a graph, uh, just a linear graph for f of x, and a quadratic graph for g of x. And what I've done here is I put down four basic questions uh, that deal with composition here and some function operation, operations. Pardon me. And what we're going to do is we're going to specifically look how do we solve these types of functions. Well, first of all, find in A it says find f of 1 multiplied by g of 2. So what you have to do is you have to find the value of each of these functions by looking at the graph and then multiply them together. So in A, the solutions, we'll put here, in A, f of 1, if we look at f of 1, so here's 1, f of 1 is actually 1, 2, 3, 4. About 4, not exactly, but I'm going to say 4. And we can also say that g of 2, so g of 2, here's 2, 1, 2, and we go and it looks like, oh, it's also 4. So g, f of 1 times g of 2 is 4 times 4, which is going to be equal to 16, would be our answer in that case. Now here we have a composition example, and what we have to do is we have to work out what g of negative 1 is first, and then compose it into f. So in b, what we're looking at is we're looking at f of whatever g of negative 1 is. I'm just going to make sure that's in the field of view. It is. Good. So what we'll do here is look at g of negative 1. g of negative 1, so there's negative 1, and it goes up to 1. So that would be 1 is our answer for g of negative 1. So plug that into the brackets. So now we got to look for f of 1. f of 1 in our case is again going to be that 4. There's 1, and the answer would be 4. So as you probably uh, figured out by now by just looking at the y value here, or the y axis is representing the f of x, g of x, the functions. Whereas x is representing the var variable that's being plugged into the functions. Okay, now c is a bit different. It's a composition of the same function twice. We didn't do any uh, double compositions of the same function in our last tutorial. Uh, when we calculated them out, but it's basically the same thing. We look for f of 4 and then plug it into f. f of 4 is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's 7. And then I have to look for f of 7, which might be out of my graph here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It is, but I'll extend my graph here so that we can answer that. I'm just going to take my ruler here and extrapolate the graph up a bit. So I'm going to keep drawing a line there until I get to the 7 line. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then what would that give us in the graph? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and a half. So about 10 and a half. Not the best example, but we have to extrapolate a little bit there. Okay, and for D, well, if you have D, and I'm going to put it here underneath, notice that it's got the other symbol for composition. F composes G. Well, that means you have to find G of 1 first and then compose it into F. So that would be written in the same form like this. G of 1 is inside that bracket before the F of X. So what we'll do is we'll look at g of 1 first and find it and put it into f. Well, g of 1 is actually just 1. f of 1 is actually 4. So that's again going to be our 4. And that's a brief uh, example of how you would look at and use, uh, and solve, I guess not use, but solve problems and questions given a graph of two functions and not given the actual function value or function equation to work with. So you can also do it from using graphs. In our next section we'll be looking more specifically at the linear function.